Hi guys, welcome once again to Living in SA TV. David here. Uh, today we're going to talk about the three castles building, the whole story from the 1800s until today. I hope you guys enjoy the video and you will find all my sources that I use for the investigation for this video on the description of this video. Thank you. I hope you enjoy. The Three Castles building is a historical landmark structure situated on the downtown of Johannesburg. The building is located at the corner of Marshall and Gold Streets, in a rundown semi-industrial area on the eastern end of the city. Back in the days was the home to the town's first cigarette factory. It was built in 1894 for the Acme Cigarette Co and started producing cigarettes in 1895. In the beginning, labored with 100 female workers, and on the late 1890s, they were replaced by machinery. Daily, the factory produced up to 300,000 cigarettes, which was not enough to fulfill the market demand. Officially the Three Castles building, it was reopened in 1899 by Paul Kruger, who took over the business. Kruger himself was an enthusiastic smoker. It became known as the Three Castles Cigarette Company. The facade of the building became a powerful marketing tool for the brand. The building is distinguished by three bastions resembling those which form part of the walls of a typical medieval castle. The two-story building has three turrets in an L-shape, with the middle larger turret positioned on the corner of the street, with edging of stone running up the walls and battlements around the square tops of the turrets. The building was originally painted a, a bottle green to echo the bottle green cigarette tins of 10 cm by 12 cm with the green castle cigarettes label on the outside. The following wording appeared on the inside of the lid. Every genuine Three Castle cigarette bears the name WD and HO Wills. The Three Castle building was eventually taken over by the United Tobacco Company who had their offices in the building until 1953, when they moved to new premises in Industria. The Three Castle building was once a lingerie business called Fashion From Foundations, or according with other sources, it was called Naomi Beauty Form, was the name of the firm which was well known across the country and abroad for its foundation garments, accessories and swimsuits. It even had a weekly 15-minute afternoon program on the Springbok radio. Most recently, the castle had a piping business that supplied the engineering industry in Johannesburg. The building was home to various nightclubs over the past decades and for 25 years, a gay club called the Dungeon Club had its home in the wing. The building is in a very sorry state these days and appears on the South Africa's in danger list. The building was badly damaged on a fire in 2013. The previous owner estimates that his father bought the building for around 350,000 rand. The building should be worth around 2 to 3 million in these days, but he doubts he will get that money. Meanwhile, the castle was sold for 1.5 million by Ocker on Tuesday, the 6th of December 2005, to a private investor that wishes to remain anonymous. Currently, the once illustrious building is irrecognizable, covered in graffiti, fenced off with barbed wire, and surrounded by rubbish bags filled with decomposing matter. 
The two shades of beige on the exterior are peeled completely, giving the building a dilapidated look. Despite its striking medieval appearance, and only the facades are standing. The internal structure of the building was destroyed by the fire, vandalism, the elements and time itself. The Egoli Heritage Foundation has appealed to the Heritage Association of South Africa to conserve the historical significant building in association with the Provincial Heritage Resources Authority in Gauteng to bring it back to its former grandeur. Unfortunately, there are no plans for the building that I know of. If you know something, please write down on the comment section. This is an image created by Janek Szymanowski where you guys can see the three castles completely restored. Initial draw, now an after renovation. The proximity of the site to the Apsa campus and the bustling Mamudang precinct makes it highly suitable for adaptive reuse and for tourist interest and will revitalize a whole block in the city. I just want to leave some ideas of what we can do with the building. We could do a museum with a sidewalk cafe, make a boutique hotel, make a student accommodation or an art gallery. The reimaginations for the three castles are many, but they seem a very far idea for now. Let me know what will be your idea for the building on the comment section below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you guys on the next Living in SATV video.